Yellow. I'm M. This is my slow and cozy modded Minecraft series. It's about time we get some transport. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> that was about my second or third time hopping on here. Let's see if this is any good. Are we? Oh, wow. That's slow. Oh, well. I've been playing this for about a month now. And... Uh, yeah, this is how much map I have explored. The vast majority of this that is visible is my render distance. And also apparently a single square of forest over there. I don't know what that is. But this is my main home over here. This is the water mill that I built last time. And... Yeah, we've not really explored much. However... I would like to do a little bit more exploring, and a horse will definitely help us do that. I think so far I only have about two or three different types of tree, so I'd like to work on getting more of those. I think I did see on the map some dark oak over here, so we'll probably take a peek at that. You can see a tiny bit over here that looks like some savannah, so we might be able to get some acacia. And there's another bit of dark oak over there. We'll still need to find some cherry blossom and some mangrove, but all in good time. But before we do go travelling, I'd like to get a few little bits of prep work done. I have got installed on here a mod which I believe used to go by the name of Astacore Carts, and that mod adds a couple of rather lovely little contraptions. So if we make a few of these wheels, we can now build a plow. And if I make a chest as well, or two chests, we can make a supply cart. These delight me so much. So we've got a supply cart, which we can we can sit on. We can sit on the back of this and that that's cute and cozy. I love that. Um but if we shift and right click it, it gives us Two chests full of inventory, which can be hooked up to a horse. So now we can go on an adventure with our horse and effectively treble our inventory. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Of course, if we want to adventure properly, we will need some snacks. So I'm going to make a little bit of barbecue on a stick. For barbecue on a stick, we will need six onions six tomatoes, three salmon, and six sticks. First, we will take our salmon, we'll put it into our offhand, come up to our chopping board, and we'll click and hold right click, which has, well, put the knife back down, which has made six raw salmon slices. I will now grill the salmon slices, which will take about 30 seconds. I'll pick those back up again. And now we just pop these all in our crafting grid. Now we've got six pieces of barbecue on our stick. Mmm, delicious. At least I assume it's delicious. I, I don't know what pixels taste of. And before I leave, I will make three spare shovels to put in the plow. And this is going to come with us. was a reasonably productive little adventure. We've now got a lot of different saplings. So we had the spruce and birch. We've now also got dark oak. 
We've acquired some jungle. We got some mangrove propagules. Cherry. Um, pretty sure I saw. Yep, that's where all the oak ones are. I think that's all the overworld trees. We've got oak, birch, dark oak, and spruce. Jungle. Acacia. Acacia. Where's the acacia? There's the acacia. So we've got all of the overworld woods now. And whilst I was out there, I also acquired pink petals from the cherry biome. And I got some periwinkles, which behave pretty similarly to the pink petals, but are from the Verdant Vibes mod, which just adds a handful more flowers and houseplant type things. So we've, we've also got some parlor palms, some monstera, some dragon tree, and some blue lobelias. And one of the nice things about these is that they they make some, for some very nice house plants. I like that. And with an empty hand, if we sneak click these, we can rotate them so we can get all of the all the funky angles. Yeah. Now, if we come outside, you'll see that it's looking suspiciously flat out here. I have raised the ground up by a couple of blocks, and the reason for raising it will become apparent fairly soon, but probably not in today's video. So we're going to use the horse and the plow to till some fields. But before I till the first field, I'll make sure that the crops will be able to be hydrated. So. I'll just pick a random spot, probably about here, and just pop some water in there, refill my bucket, and then count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then the next one will go here. One, two, three, four. gonna take our horse. Uh, you may notice this one's slightly different. I found a faster one on my travels. She is lacking a name though, so I may need some help there. But now that we've got some irrigation set up for our field, I've brought out the plow and I've preloaded it with three fresh iron hose. So now we can sidle up to this, hook up to it, and I'll just hop off the horse and right click to lower that into the ground. And then, oh, here comes the fun bit. Just like that, we have a whole ploughed field. Ooh, look cute! Now we just need to plant it, and that will be manual, <laughs> annoyingly. Let's have a look, what should we plant? So we're already in fall, potatoes are going to be slow. Carrots are going to be slow. Onions are going to be slow, but not the worst. So we might do a mix of onions and... Ah! Beetroot is good. Okay. Let's do half a field of beetroot and half a field of wheat. And I'll, I'll try and keep the plants that are going to be best for the season in the fields. And then up here we can have the slower growing out of season plants. I think I've got some spare ones in here. Yep, 
beetroot, wheat, did I have, oh, cocoa beans, what do they do, rice is slow, tomato is slow, we do have a few cabbage seeds, and some pumpkin, let's put some pumpkins in the garden, let's do one there, one here and one there, right, beetroot and wheat, let's do a little beetroot patch up here, and then fill as much of the rest in as we can with wheat. So now we have the beginnings of a field. It'll probably take me a couple of in-game days to grow out the full field, but this is looking pretty good for a start. One slight problem we have now, well, it's not a problem. It's an excuse for a building. Uh, it, oh dear, don't jump on that, Em. That's bad. We've got all this farm equipment, by which I mean a plow and a horse, and we've got another cart up there. I think we need to build a little stable barn thing two in one majig. Maybe? Let's start with my favourite number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say eleven. And open up a doorway here. Bring it up about that high on the edge. I'm gonna bring a little wing up here. And then... Doom. 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 Yeah. So what I'm thinking for this is a relatively sort of a longish building. A stable block kind of a jig. Medelio. Baboo. And half of it's going to be stalls. And then the other half is going to be a sort of corridor and storage space for various bits of farm gear. Yeah. So I'll bring this back all along. I'm just getting a general shape and then I will build, I'll build it with a cobble and then I'll pick some slightly different blocks. I'm liking the shape of that. Um, so we'll have a, a little storage area out here, and then as we pop into here, we'll have one, two, three, four, five stalls for horses and donkeys and mules, and then we'll have a little bit of storage for farm stuff and horse things in this little corridor section, and then another door out here onto the field. Let's get some blocks and begin making it a little bit fancier. With the main structure of this, uh, I think all that I would like to do otherwise is add a little bit of this copycat step thing to some guttering. Oops. 
missed a couple of blocks. And then the only other thing that's missing is a few gates inside. Oops. And now we have a safe and dry place to keep the horse. So I can bring this friend in here. I can drop off the cart. And... Ah, wonderful. Oh, also, a thing that I noticed when I was uh, going on my little adventure is these carts. So, I, I, like, I knew that they would display the blocks that are in their inventory. But I discovered that if you put a bed in them, it, it displays the bed too. So it's a, a perfect little camping inventory. And you can break, bring all your camping stuff along the road. And, ah, oh, I just love it. It's very cute. It's very cozy. So, yeah. We need a name for this little friend. And we got some wheat storage over here. The wheat oh wow, okay. That <laughs> that's growing faster than I realized. That's doing incredibly well. I'll just pop into the free camera mode and Yeah, we've got a decent sized wheat field. Nearly done. Oh stupid rain. I got a few beetroots growing and a few onions and cabbages. I'm running out of time now though for today, but I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been very fun to continue working on. I'll see you next time when we work out some kind of a solution for harvesting this. But thank you for watching. I thoroughly appreciate it. All of the comments and likes and subscribes that I got last time, so keep those coming. Tickled my dopamine receptors, something wonderful. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.